both, but both the Parfait and the North Sea we built for ourselves. This little 47 foot boat weighs 200,000 pounds when she's fishing, which is extraordinary because the Parfait was 43 foot and it only weighed 25,000 pounds and it was, a, it was a typical American boat. The North Sea would take the weather, any weather that you wouldn't, you'd say you were going to be killed and it would still ride through it, where the Parfait was a much lighter boat and it wasn't mm -hmm. built for that, you know. One day we went out, we went out in the morning and it was a easterly wind, a pretty big swell on and all that stuff and anyway everybody went out, fa out fishing. So we were fishing all day and we, we, it, was, it was nasty when we first started fishing and then when we coming back it got pretty nice. I mean like you really could have water skied honestly, it was, but it was, it was kind of in the winter. And uh, we're, we're, we're coming, getting closer to the inlet. We fished about seven, eight miles offshore I guess. We're coming back to the inlet and uh, Mark says, where do you got the fish? So he said, I don't know, it's on a deck, why? He goes, yeah, you better put it up behind the winches and stuff. He goes, uh, well, like, yeah, what's the matter? And he said, just, just, I'm telling you, just do that. <laughs> so, so we did, you know, and so we watched him go in and everything went good, he went good. So we're going in and it was real nice and I'm standing in the back door, he's running the boat, and I look in the back and I go, uh-oh, we're gonna get it bad. Uh, it was big rollers and they stood up in the inlet there like it was like a breaking wave that was like I don't know 10 12 foot high or something like that it was just coming and curling we we're like holy man and the boat tipped over we were we were scooting down the wave because it, it was we were surfing in, we were surfing the wave you know and it, it tipped over so far that the this side, this side had like a door hanging. It was in the water. It was we were, we were over at like 45 degrees at least. You couldn't stand up, you know. I mean, if I wasn't holding in the door, I would have fell out of the boat. And then the boat shook it off. It, the wave broke like in the middle of the boat too. And it was like, it just was shooting it along. And it was like, oh boy. Then we got past that one and we came in. We said, now we know why you said put the fish where you did, you know, <laughs> because it was crazy. I'm actually a mechanical engineer. I have my mechanical engineering degree, so plans and all that stuff are near and dear to my heart. If you plan something out and you're going to do it, then you do it what the plans are. You don't deviate from the thing, otherwise you just mess all the plans up. So anyway, we built it. We wound up building a boat. It took us four years. My house is on a piece of property that's 200 feet wide, and it's, I had a 100 by 160 foot lot that was completely empty. I mean, that's where we built the first boat. We started it there. We had steel dropped off, and I did all the plans on the computer, and then I, you know, we just kept working at it, and working at it, and working at it. And we built it in the yard there. We finished it. We had to build it so that the pilot house you could take off of it because it was too tall. It hit the bridges and stuff to get down to the water. So you, we you couldn't go under the expressway. The bridges because yeah. we built it in Lake in Lake yeah. You know, so we had to truck it from there down to the. We actually went to where the ferries are in in, uh, in Sable, and from the Fire Island ferries, that's where we wind up launching it. What transpired during the course of us building this, and this took about a year and a half, almost two years to do, and we worked, worked full time, we quit our jobs and everything else, and this is what I wanted to do for, in, in the big picture. And I just had a brand new baby boy, I had my, my daughter was five years old, so it was a big, big thing to go and to quit and do this. And I figured it would work out fine, and it did. The boat came out great, but the fishing laws all just started to change. And the whole thing went from like being somewhat reasonable to being ludicrous where you can't work anymore guys couldn't have any bigger boats the whole thing just changed the whole complexion of the whole thing changed and it basically put took me out of the out of the business of building a boat because nobody could buy, build a boat anymore you know I, I enjoyed it it was it, it's a creation like and it's not a ship and it's not a little toy it was like a, each boat takes on its own character mm -hmm. and anybody who fished with a boat that had a good boat and somebody that took pride in the boat, they all felt that same. It was like a, a friend of theirs, the boat. Even though it's an inanimate object, it still was a, it was like it, it had a life, a soul to it.